<laughs> you notice how I'm saving after I beat every stage now? There's a reason for that. Because now is when the game starts to get ridiculous. And this is the first stage I can think of that really nails how stupid this game can get. So, Road to Nowhere. This is the first Endless Bridge stage, which... There is another one of these later, and it is the worst thing ever. Can't see anything in front of me! Oh my god, I... How did I not get hit there? But good luck for me! So in case you haven't figured it out yet, this stage's gimmick is unstable platforms. The tan-colored boards will not will hold your weight. They don't have a problem. The brown ones, when you stand on them, they will fall a couple of seconds later. The blue ones are ice platforms because you gotta have those. And the ones with the cracks, uh, you can't touch those at all. If you do, they break under your weight immediately. So, yeah. These stages expect you to do some pretty freaking crazy platforming in a section where you don't really have full, like, confidence in where you can actually land. Also, these freaking pigs, they are completely invincible, so either take a hit or try to avoid them because you can't do anything. They don't die. You die, but they don't. They're also anti-gravity, so they don't fall off the cliff like you do. Because that's always fun. Honestly, the toughest part of this is just gauging how far you're supposed to jump. It's so tricky to know, because you don't have an ideal, like, graph of where Crash's feet are going to land! <laughs> Uh. Yeah, this is the road to nowhere. I hope you guys are enjoying it. Uh, and this is the easier version of the stage. Wait till I get to the high road, which is even worse than this. Like, this stage... It's bad? But it's not the worst thing in the world. That will come later. Anyway, the only plus side to this is I'm pretty sure this isn't a color gem stage. So even though I died there, I think I can still salvage it. So now we've got turtles, and you have to time the jump so that it is at the very edge of the bridge. If it's not at the very edge, you will not make this jump. So, I miss boxes. Wait a minute. I see it. It's over there. Uh, how do you get past that? Oh, I suppose I should mention this. Uh, once you beat the stage the first time, this thing shows up. This is the stopwatch. It enables time attack mode, basically, where you can get relics. I... Oh, my God. I may come back and do those later. It's just basically time trial. You have to beat the stage as fast as possible without, like, dying. So it's a straight shot to the finish line, but... I may also not come back and do that because I don't think they're necessary in this game. I think they're optional. That? Oh my god. Oh, there's a gem platform. Okay, never mind. I can't do this yet anyway. I don't have the right gem.
We're back for another invigorating episode of Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy, where today we're going to be playing Boulder Dash, and why don't we play it as Coco, because I haven't really been playing as Coco much at all, and I'm pretty sure right after this I got another boss fight, so once again I'm going to not play as her for very long, because I keep forgetting to switch characters. So, second boulder chase stage, where you have to run away from a giant rock. Did you miss this? Because... It sucks. Oh my god, 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 oh my god. I made it! Okay. I hit way too many of those for my own comfort. Fences. Uh, going as straight as possible. Try not to go too diagonally. Okay. Uh, I hope I'm almost there. Oh my god, moving platforms. Go, go, go! Okay. Uh. God, fences! No! Okay, I am probably gonna get crushed now. I hit like three of those. Oh. Is the end almost up ahead? I don't think I'm gonna make this one. I think I cut it a little too short. Oh my god, I made it! Of course, this is one of the gem platform-based stages, so I can't get 100% on my first run. Unfortunately, but... I got it, so... At least that's a thing, and I didn't get crushed, even though it came really close at the end there. Um... Next up, I believe, is... Nope, Sunset Vista. Oh, and this is the first level with a key, so there's going to be a Nitrous Brio stage in it. Um... I don't remember Sunset Vista that much, actually. Okay, there's my controller. Uh, sorry about that, my controller sort of unplugged itself for a second there. So, let's just do this, and... Oh, I remember Sunset Vista now, because it's the second Lost Kingdom stage. Luckily, I don't think it's as bad as the previous one, because I don't have to beat this in one single shot. Since there's no color gem in it, so... Pray for that. Anyway, uh... For the second version, it's obviously supposed to be the harder one. I don't remember having too much difficulty with this stage, but I also haven't played it in a long time, so... I could be completely wrong. Oh, right, the bass. I remember this. Uh, there. Okay. Well, I got 91 lives now. Hopefully that'll be enough for a while. Mask. I thought there was going to be, like, another exclamation box up there. But, um, oh my god! Okay. The timing on those is a little bit different. Note to self. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm just gonna perform a sideways jump and say fuck it. How's that? 
Oh yeah, and this is the part where we start getting platforms that go into the wall shortly after you jump on them, so you can't loiter on them for too long. You have to move quickly. And that's a ton of token, which means that there's a ton of minigame. There is a key in this stage, so I know that there is a Cortex bonus in here somewhere. So I gotta keep my eyes open for that as well. I see... Okay, good. Uh, really not liking the fact that I have not seen a Cortex token so far. But they could all be bunched up near the uh, near the end or something, so I guess I can't worry too much. Okay, careful. Uh, don't fall. That would really suck. I'm sorry that I'm not really giving much commentary at this point. These stages are legitimately really difficult, so I'm really trying to focus here. I see. Okay, there's the first Cortex token, I believe. It, I, I hope it's the first Cortex token. Yeah, I think they're all, like, bunched up together around this point. Oh, I got pushed off the edge. Should have just gone forward. Uh, oh, the boxes respawn. Right. So now I gotta get all those again. Oh, it's not too difficult. Uh, oh yeah, the cortex token's still in my inventory. I believe. Uh, trying. To, yep. Oh god. I just gotta break all the boxes. There's 90 boxes in this stage. Whoa. Oh. God. I almost completely fell for that. Okay, note to self, don't rush. You're just gonna make stupid mistakes if you do. Like me, because I'm stupid. What's the pattern? I see, so... Okay, so when 3 and 2 come out, I want to be pressing against 3 so I can just run through it. Okay. And for this one, just go. Okay. Took me a couple seconds, but I figured it out. Second Tana token. All four come out at once, so I have to make this fast. Otherwise, I'll get trapped. Third cortex token. Now, as long as I don't fail this jump, I can go and do the Cortex minigame for the key. Alright. Now, the Cortex minigames, I recall, being really dastard. They're like the Brio minigames, only much harder. I 
thing. I should have just gone. Okay, let me try that again. I'm just not going to say anything. Got it. And there's the key, which will open up a stage back previously. So, there we go. And now I have 64 out of 90 boxes. Hopefully I can get them all and I don't have to come back later with a colored gem, or that would really suck. Uh, Tom Bandicoot token number three. Uh, I believe the platform's just up ahead. Yeah, there it is. Okay. So let's do this minigame now while we're at it. Okay, so... Much easier than Cortex's endeavor. And I'm only missing nine boxes. That's just lovely. Oh god. Uh Box, I'll gladly take that. Even though it probably won't help that much. Uh, okay, there's no boxes back there, I don't think. Uh, I don't see any. Whoa! Yeah, this is eight boxes, that's it. Got it. I also got an achievement, I wonder what that's for. Probably, uh, okay, it's actually probably for hitting 99 lives. Alright. And we got the achievement for beating one of Cortex's key challenges, since that was the first one we got. And this now opens up the next boss, Koala Kong, but the key opens up this stage. Whole Hog! Remember the first hog riding minigame we did before? The one where you had to avoid everything and it was basically like Battletoads? It's another one of those!